Pally. What is it? Well, it looks like a door, and it's closed. Fixed the orbit of the mineral asteroid that Tarrant was talking about. We have half an hour to decide if we go after it. Why not? It's something else to chase. A sketch of a place I used to know. Auron. Yes, Auron. Well, it's pointless to think about it. I'll never see it again. That's why you've been shut in here for ten hours, thinking about Auron and how you'll never see it again. That's why. I wish I could promise you that the sparkling company on the flight deck would take you out of you, sir. I'm all right. No, you're not. But you will be. Regret is part of being alive. But keep it a small part. As you do? Demonstrably. I think I want to win this time, Aidan. Congratulations. But you can't. Oh, here she can. <laughs> well, I didn't win again. It was your fault. You put me off. With pleasure. On the first planet we come to. Here, yeah, take a look at this. That asteroid's less than 32 hours away, but we'll still be cutting in fine. Let's get going, then. There's nothing keeping us here. Information. Detectors indicate a vessel is approaching. Identification. Negative. What speed is it making? There is no specific speed. The vehicle is apparently adrift. Damaged. Negative. Put it on visual. Confirmed. Scanners in operation. Doesn't maintain your usual standards, then? Some kind of alien. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. An alien spaceship has aliens on it, right? My experience of aliens hasn't exactly been warming. Your experiences with humans haven't been particularly glowing either. Zen, any idea where she comes from? Negative. No comparative data is available. Primary analysis suggests the design is eccentric and may be decorative rather than functional. What about manpower or whatever power it's got? The ship registers no life signs. Well, if it really were alien, it might not register as life. Alien vessel is now stationary. Distance? 200 spatials. That's a little too perfect for something that is registering as unmanned. We signal. Give me a reason. A reason? It's out there. In other words, you're bored. In other words, I don't believe in missing chance. Any chance this offers is purely hypothetical. On the other hand, any minerals we pull off that asteroid are unique and therefore conceivably useful. And once its orbit takes it back into the perimeter of its sun, we lose it for another three months. I still give this priority. We can't just ignore it. No, Avon, we can't. Something else to chase? Very well, as you are all so eager. Zen, signal the alien. Confirmed. What is it? What? You picked up on something. No. How could I? I'm an Auron. The only message I can receive is from one of my own people. I know. But you're still psi developed, Cammy. You can read minds sometimes. Did you? Not then. I don't believe her. Neither, Tarrant. She just told you only an Auron can communicate directly to another Auron. That thing out there is not an Auron ship. Zen, confirm negative response. Negative response confirmed. Now, we have another decision to make. Somehow that ship has moored itself conveniently close. Do we teleport aboard? I suggest a party of three for maximum cover and up. Why do I get the feeling that you have been planning this for weeks? Very well. Villa, Cali, get three guns. Get to the teleport. My dear, what? You will remain here as backup. With Dana. You don't mind, do you? that again you were both seconds behind me dana what happened nothing happened i was late getting here and villa arrived on his head nothing showed up as wrong i'll get zen to check everything out do that we are going to be able to get back aren't we i shouldn't like to have to spend the rest of my life here don't worry it wouldn't be a long one wonderful what do you mean 
Zen promised us an oxygen atmosphere, but it's pretty thin on the ground. Though it must have been denser at one time to cause so much of this... Tarrant out. Why? His enthusiasm can be distracting. What are all these coloured ribbons? Perhaps they were having a party. According to Zen, this ship has one single deck and this is it. Do you notice anything? No instrument panels? No navigational or drive systems whatsoever. It's unlikely that they would corrode without trace. Avon, look at this. Whatever it was, it was humanoid. I don't think I want to see. This isn't a ship. It's a tomb. They, whoever they are or were, sealed their dead up inside and set it adrift in space. This rubble. It's the remains of artifacts buried with the corpse. That doesn't seem very hygienic. You worked it all out very fast. Well, it's obvious. Yes. These jewels must be priceless. Jewels? Well, I don't. No. I don't think I will. What's this? I take it that's a rhetorical question. Or did you really think we knew? Oh. I'd like to take a look at it before you smash it to bits. What the hell? I saw something. I think it must have been my reflection. You can take modesty too far, you know. Avon! Avon, answer! What is it? The detectors are registering some sort of energy buildup all around you on that ship. One of us just fired at something that wasn't there. Maybe we've triggered something else that is. You certainly have. Listen, describe the interior. Dust, debris, rather an old corpse. What? Well, is there any sort of beam you could have broken? Probably hundreds. A trip wire. Avon? We may have tripped a few wires, yes. That ship must have an anti-intruder device rigged. You've activated it. Avon, I think you're now inside a live bomb. Then get us out of here fast and do it right this time. Villa. Hey. Pick that thing up. Was smooth, Dana. Dana? Avon, we're still here. Where are they? Callie, for heaven's sake. Build up of energy aboard alien ship increasing. Did they take off the bracelets? Of course they did it. Am I doing something wrong? No. This happened going in. As if. Build up of energy aboard alien ship increasing to critical point. Zem! Malfunction of teleport system. Shut down may be implemented. Energy increase aboard alien ship computed as reaching critical point in 30 seconds. Put me back on the alien ship. You heard Zen. You can't go back into that. Besides which, the teleport could fail totally at any moment or go into automatic shutdown. Try to put me back. Give me as many seconds as you can spare, then try to bring me out again. No, don't, Callie. Dana! No, 20 seconds. I think I can bring them out with me, otherwise they'll both die. Well, this way you'll all die. 15 seconds. It's our only chance. Do it! 10 seconds. Answer me, will you? Answer me. Don't tell me, Zen has finally gone mad. There's no time. Villa, give me your hand. (laughs) 
Zen damage report. The Liberator has sustained no damage. The teleport is now functioning at full power. Better late than never. What the hell was going on over here? Afternoon tea? Ask Zen. I want to know what trick Callie pulled off that Zen couldn't or wouldn't. Their teleport bracelets were affected by the energy build-up. Mine obviously wasn't. When I linked with Avon and Villa by touch, my bracelet boosted the others and brought the three of us through. Neat and not remotely believable. Who cares? It worked. Thanks, Callie. I never realised you felt this way about me. You were nearly killed. Was it worth it? Was it? I'd like a straight answer. Try a straight question. You didn't trust me. You thought I had some obscure reaction to something on that ship, didn't you? You and I teleported so that you could watch me and see what I'd do. You cut Tarrant out because he had the same idea, but he'd made no secret of it. You're overreacting. Probably. But you wouldn't expect a normal human response, would you? I'm not quite human. Are you having any luck with that object, Abel? As you can see, no. Try Orac with it. I already have. It has no more idea of its function than we do. Do any of the buttons respond? No. got a headache. Callie had the right idea. I think I'll get some rest. As if a storm were coming. Rather unlikely in here, don't you think? I hate to say this, but I think Villa's right. There is something. I thought so. Static electricity. Nothing. It must be your naturally electric personality. I finished with the book screen, Dana. You said you wanted it. Ah, Callie. I've been going over that theory of yours about the teleport bracelets boosting each other. As you're aware, it doesn't make sense. You have a better one? There was some kind of power source on that alien ship that you were telepathically receptive to. When the teleport failed, you were able to use that source to get yourself out and to get Avon and Villa out with you. I seem to be more clever than I thought I was. What I really want to know is why you're being so bashful. What are you hiding and why? Shut up, Tarrant. Did you say something to me? I said shut up. I apologize for not realizing you are deaf. There's something else you don't realize. I don't take any orders from you. Well, now, that's a great pity, considering that your own ideas are so limited. Oh, don't try and bluff your way with me, Avon. I know what's been needling you right from the start. With Blake gone, you thought you'd got it made, didn't you? Thought you'd got control of the ship and a crew of three. You'd say yes, Avon, whatever you wanted. But you reckoned without me. That wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, really? I don't think so. When you found me on the Liberator, it was quite a blow. And every time you look at me, it hits you harder, doesn't it? I'm faster than you and I'm sharper. As far as it goes, I've made a success of my life. But you? The only big thing you ever tried to do, you failed at. The greatest computer swindle of all time. You couldn't quite pull it off, could you? If it hadn't been for Blake, you'd be rotting on Cygnus Alpha right now. No, you failed, Amy. But I win. Not just at games. At life. You also talk too much. Be thankful I'm restricting myself to talk. Well, now, that's fascinating. You mean you can do something else? Don't stop this! What are you doing? Warming up to cutting each other's throats? Avon, do you want to forget I said all that? It wasn't particularly memorable. We need sleep, all of us. Even you need sleep, Tarrant. And tomorrow, everything will look different. If it does, you can assume you're on the wrong ship. 
Inboard sensors detect a build-up of energy on flight deck. This energy is of an electrical nature. Sam, what's the matter with the lights? Life systems have regained full power. What's happening? Something funny's going on. That'll take the smile off your face. Oh, no. Maybe ORAC would be more obliging now that this thing's turned its lights on. My head's killing me. You should learn self-defense. ORAC! I want another analysis. I have already informed you that this structure is of an unfamiliar type. My deductions are necessarily limited by the facts available and the rationality of possible theories. Wild surmise is not a part of my function. Eh? Be more specific, Orak. The only deduction I have been able to make concerning this artifact is that its purpose is not only inimical, but also apparently unreasonable. It is active although the panel of keys appears to have been pre-programmed many centuries prior to this activation. Since the origin of the device is ambiguous, it must belong to a world or even a galaxy as yet unfamiliar to the human race. What do you mean the purpose of the artifact is unreasonable? Are you saying you do have some idea? I am not willing to speculate on so tenuous and oblique a basis. I should, however, warn you that a slight electrical imbalance appears to be... What did you say? Orak, what's the matter with you? Disconnect me. Wait a minute, Orak. Disconnect. I don't believe that. Try and convince me, will you? Please. Disconnect. Get down. Get down. Check the radiation level in here. Radiation level normal. There has been a second momentary increase of energy in the area of the flight deck. Not in itself dangerous. Well, it wouldn't be for you, would it? Orak is damaged. I can't tell how badly. I've got pins and needles. Inboard. Inboard. Sensors indicate there is an intruder aboard. Well, that's impossible, Zen. Even if someone had teleport facility, there's nothing and nowhere that could have come from, is there? There is an intruder aboard. And how? And where? Zen! Sensors cannot determine. Zen! Computers indicate a sustained electrical disturbance. Inboard sensors affected. There is an energy loss from all systems. All systems. Sam? There is a... What's happening? Somehow something's bleeding power out of this ship to use for itself. Zen's out of action. I'm going to shake Avon awake and get some guns. Dana, you fetch Callie. I particularly want her with us. But Dana, go carefully with her. 
What's Callie supposed to have? No time for a discussion, Billy. You stay here. Stay here? Alone? I hope. It's getting dark. Callie. Callie, are you listening to me? I know you could hear me now fully. You heard only a suggestion of my voice before, yet you responded. You obeyed me almost from the beginning, Callie. A telepath. Rare. A wonderful find. Wonderfully vulnerable. Callie. You've been so long ago. Cut off from your people. You've been homesick for your own world. Someone to communicate with. True communication, one brain speaking to another. But you won't ever be alone again, Gabby. Not now. Not for as long as you live. Avon's not in his cabin. Get to Callie. Here, you may need to keep her covered with your gun. Take her through to the flight deck, give Villa this gun, and tell him tell him to look after her. Will he do it? Make sure he does. You and I are going to comb the ship for Avon and for the intruder. Whatever it is. I always said you were used to this pile of junk. No point in being nervous, Villa. No, there isn't. A lot of shadows I've never noticed before. Hi, shadows. I suppose that's all you are. Just shadows. Don't think about that. No, I won't think about that. But since you're all here... Oh, really? It wasn't that good. Just watch this. the master of illusion, command you to play. Eh? I don't know that. I didn't mean it. Aina? You're always getting at me. Your helplessness brings out my sadistic streak. Stop it. No! Trouble, Callie. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Avon? Villa? didn't happen. 
No, of course it didn't. You're alive. I shouldn't be. I don't deserve to be. I'm sorry. I bet you are. Kelly! She's in some sort of coma. Describe what attacked you. Well, that's the point. It was Kelly. But not Kelly. Somehow, something came off that alien ship and onto Liberator. To do it, it used the device Kelly brought back with her and it used Kelly. I don't understand how, if what was on the ship was dead, but there must have been something left, some kind of pure energy. It looks like her, and it has a body. Then it's used her as a blueprint to make itself a brand new physical shape. Only oh, no, the whole thing sounds crazy. Oh, it's happening, and what hit me was real enough. It's feeding off the ship's energy and off Callie. It will kill her. I wonder what it's got planned for the rest of us. I'd just better get rid of it before it decides. Do you want the applause now, or will it wait? Where were you? Outside, about 20 feet down the corridor. You carelessly managed to miss me both times you went by. Oh, another game. Hide and seek, perhaps. I was watching this cabin. Reason. Isn't it obvious we've been outmaneuvered? Teleport failures, mysterious alien artifacts. While you and I were pawing the ground, that thing managed to get Callie to reactivate the device in the correct sequence. Callie is the link, all right, but short of killing her, there wasn't much we could do to stop it. Whatever is now on this ship has sufficient psi abilities to drain the Liberator and Callie to the dregs. It is also capable of throwing high-voltage bouquets. If you want it, it's gone toward the flight deck. I followed it a little way. However, I wouldn't advise a headlong infantry charge. I'm sure you wouldn't. temperamental weapons aren't stable anymore. What are you? Callie. Can't you see? Callie is dying. You want that? I have established a psychic link between us. She and I. If I let her go, she'd live. But I require her life energy to complete this shape. So she'll have to become a part of me. Not dead. Absorbed. I'd never kill superfluously. You should bear that in mind. Superfluous may mean something different to you. Tarrant. Yes, I know your name. Just as I know your language. To my people, death is an interim state. But to humans, death is death. That makes you very simple to deal with. Don't bet on that. But you can't fight me. Only the Auron girl could have done that, but she left it too late. Part of her welcomed me. You see, I could reach her mind. When she tried to close the door against me, it was emotionally impossible. Besides, how could she have true loyalties to any non-telepath? Any human? Normally, only an Auron can contact another Auron. Your psi powers must be extremely advanced. They are. But still, you needed that device to bring you through. My people have learned how to boost their psychic capabilities by means of high technology. You've disrupted the systems of this ship. That isn't going to help you. You underestimate your vessel. 
it's largely capable of regeneration. And the power source is virtually limitless. Yes. I think I will accept your ship as your gift to me. You call it Liberator, don't you? How very apt. Presumably you could kill us all. So why haven't you? I told you. I don't kill superfluously. When I was alive before, I was accustomed to being served by intelligent menials. I'm prepared to offer you all a choice. You can live as my... Intelligent menials? Don't let a mere two words prevent you from staying alive. You underestimate your powers of expression. Come now. Would it be so very horrible to serve me? To be my protector? Would it be so soul-destroying, Tarrant? It was predicted that I would find you. That I would live again because of each of you. And your roles in my new life, they were predicted too. <laughs> or you can die. I like to be waited on. But it isn't essential. As far as the computers are concerned, my voice print is the same as Callie's. I can soon learn how to control this ship. I've already learned how to cripple it. That one interests me. He has a very high IQ and yet he acts like an imbecile. He'll make an ideal pet. Stay where you are. Do I really have to kill you to prove you're in the presence of a superior? <clears throat> All right. That was a stupid move. Yes, stupid. I have a world, a planet, a home. I mean to get there. A planet? Where? A world it would take more than your lifetime to reach. A world more beautiful than any other. A world you'll never see, even if I let you live. <laughs> you need instruction, human, called Tarot. Ah! Rather than render you unconscious, I want you to experience that pain. I want you to think about it. The girl who sings songs would do well to learn by your example. Throw that away. Away, I said. Ellie. She's hardly even breathing. Callie, Tarrant, Dana, Villa. One is missing. No. Remember my mental link with Kali. Naturally, I know who is here and who isn't. Particularly if it's Avon. Where is he, Dana? Very well. Let me guess. He's outside in the corridor. As you were before he failed to stop you rushing in here. As a matter of fact, I didn't try to stop her. I just got out of her way. I don't think you should look at me like that. Don't you? I might interpret it as insolence, which could be uncomfortable for you. Could it? Yes, it could, Avon. But you're always practical, aren't you? Have you decided to accept my terms? Have you offered some? <laughs> you will have heard me, I think, from the corridor. Just as you watched me earlier from the other corridor? I didn't hear any terms. Just something about pets. Callie would want you to live. I know that. 
It must get tiresome for you, knowing so much. Ava, say you'll do as she says. Philip, be quiet. He has an unusually sharp intelligence, which can recognize when it's beaten. I might forgive him for wanting to steal my ring. Callie stole your ring. Callie was supposed to. I hope you made her a touching farewell. She's not dead yet. But she won't struggle. Not against me. I'm waiting for your answer. Stay where you are. Very well. Now you can see me properly. I like you, Eamon. You're stronger than the rest. Callie liked you. You can console yourself now I'm so very much in her image. I could even think and feel as she does. You and I can be friends. You surprise me. You know that I wouldn't wish to make a slave of you, don't you? Not you. It's a pity you couldn't get rid of me earlier, wasn't it, and Villa? When you jammed the teleport so that only Callie would get out of your coffin alive. I was mistaken. Yes, Callie wouldn't leave us to die, so you had to let the three of us through, very reluctantly. You knew where the danger would be right from the start. Avon. You are taking this ship precisely nowhere. Don't be foolish. You spoil yourself. But I'll be patient with you. I've waited centuries. I can afford a few moments until you can bring yourself to consent to be obliging. And no one aboard this ship is going to accept or carry out a single demand of yours. You've seen what I can do. It would be a little difficult to miss. Don't try to play games with me. Nothing was further from my mind. You've given us your terms. Now I will give you ours. No deal. I thought you were the clever one. You're a fool. Like Tarrant. The pain Tarrant is experiencing. Visualize that pain and much more. You're as close to death as you have ever been. Think about human death, Avon. Irrevocable. I have thought about it. What's keeping you? What did you say? You claim you can kill me. You'd better get on with it. Make me die. There's nothing else you can make me do. Loyalties after all, but you knew that right from the beginning, didn't you? You look so beautiful when you're angry. That would be a little foolish when I just went to so much trouble to get it. You don't understand. Don't I? Psychic abilities boosted by high technology. This ring is the real source of your power, isn't it? This is how you formed your link with Callie. And you cannot hold her or feed off this ship without it. Avon. Avon, give it back to me. This body. I have to live. I've waited so long. 
centuries. More time than you could comprehend. How can you imagine what it must be like to be dead? To exist in nothingness, in nowhere, blind, deaf, dumb, and yet to be sentient, aware, waiting, centuries of waiting. I have to find my world again, my people, my home. I want to breathe and see and feel and know. Don't send me back into the dark, Ava. Let me live. Callie was telepathically linked into that thing. So Avon gambled that Callie could be shocked into fighting it and that it couldn't kill him because Callie wouldn't let it. And it worked. But that means that Callie sat back while I had to go at all the rest of us. I've always liked Callie. You're being pedantic, Villa. I am? Well, in the end, it wasn't trying to kill us. Just Avon. He pushed it into a corner where it couldn't do anything else. What do you mean it wasn't trying to kill us? It nearly killed me when it fixed the teleport. Well, that was before it totally linked with Callie. She didn't have any influence over it except that it had to protect her. Anyway, Avon was the target then, too. You were incidental. Incidental? That'll look good on my gravestone. It nearly killed Callie. It was absorbing her rather than killing her. Making her part of itself. She felt that, too. That's why she couldn't fight for herself. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, then obviously it's the right answer. All systems have been restored to maximum capacity. The Liberator is now fully operational. At least Zen's talking to us again. Even Orax back on his feet. What a revolting thought. You should be used to those. Are you sure you're up to this, Kelly? Translated, that means how do you feel? I feel all right. Thank you. And how about you, Vin? Oh, I'm... Oh, I see. Evan? Zen, let's get out of here.
Callie. What is it? Well, it looks like a door, and it's closed. Fixed the orbit of the mineral asteroid that Tarrant was talking about. We have half an hour to decide if we go after it. Why not? It's something else to chase. A sketch of a place I used to know. Auron. Yes, Auron. Well, it's pointless to think about it. I'll never see it again. That's why you've been shut in here for ten hours, thinking about Auron and how you'll never see it again. That's why. I wish I could promise you that the sparkling company on the flight deck would take you out of yourself. I'm all right. No, you're not. But you will be. Regret is part of being alive. But keep it a small part. As you do? Demonstrably. I think I'm going to win this time, Aidan. Congratulations. You can't. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> well, I didn't win again. It was your fault. You put me off. With pleasure. On the first planet we come to. Here, take a look at this. That asteroid's less than 32 hours away, but we'll still be cutting in five. Let's get going, then. There's nothing keeping us here. Information. Detectors indicate a vessel is approaching. Identification. Negative. What speed is it making? There is no specific speed. The vehicle is apparently adrift. Damaged. Negative. Put it on visual. Confirm. Scanners in operation. Doesn't maintain your usual standards, then? Some kind of alien. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. An alien spaceship has aliens on it, right? My experience of aliens hasn't exactly been warming. Your experiences with humans haven't been particularly glowing either. Zen, any idea where she comes from? Negative. No comparative data is available. Primary analysis suggests the design is eccentric and may be decorative rather than functional. What about...
got a headache. Callie had the right idea. I think I'll get some rest. As if a storm were coming. Rather unlikely in here, don't you think? I hate to say this, but I think Bill is right. There is something. I thought so. Static electricity. Nothing. It must be your naturally electric personality. I finished with the book screen, Dana. You said you wanted it. Ah, Callie. I've been going over that theory of yours about the teleport bracelets boosting each other. As you're aware, it doesn't make sense. You have a better one? There was some kind of power source on that alien ship that you were telepathically receptive to. When the teleport failed, you were able to use that source to get yourself out and to get Avon and Villa out with you. I seem to be more clever than I thought I was. What I really want to know is why you're being so bashful. What are you hiding and why? Shut up, Tarrant. Did you say something to me? I said shut up. I apologize for not realizing you are deaf. There's something else you don't realize. I don't take any orders from you. Well, now, that's a great pity, considering that your own ideas are so limited. Oh, don't try and bluff your way with me, Avon. I know what's been needling you right from the start. With Blake gone, you thought you'd got it made, didn't you? Thought you'd got control of the ship and a crew of three, you'd say yes, Avon, whatever you wanted. But you reckoned without me. That wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, really? I don't think so. When you found me on the Liberator, it was quite a blow. And every time you look at me, it hits you harder, doesn't it? I'm faster than you and I'm sharper. As far as it goes, I've made a success of my life. But you? The only big thing you ever tried to do, you failed at. The greatest computer swindle of all time. But you couldn't quite pull it off, could you? If it hadn't been for Blake, you'd be rotting on Cygnus Alpha right now. No, you failed, Amy. But I win. Not just at games. At life. You also talk too much. Be thankful I'm restricting myself to talk. Well, now, that's fascinating. You mean you can do something else? Don't stop this! What are you doing? Warming up to cutting each other's throats? Haven, do you want to forget I said all that? It wasn't particularly memorable. We need sleep, all of us. Even you need sleep, Tarrant. And tomorrow, everything will look different. If it does, you can assume you're on the wrong ship.
Inboard sensors detect a build-up of energy on flight deck. This energy is of an electrical nature. Sam, what's the matter with the lights? Life systems have regained full power. What's happening? Something funny's going on. That'll take the smile off your face. Oh, my. Maybe ORAC would be more obliging now that this thing's turned its lights on. My head's killing me. You should learn self-defense. ORAC, I want another analysis. I have already informed... I think it must have been my reflection. You can take modesty too far, you know. Avon! Avon, answer! What is it? The detectors are registering some sort of energy build-up all around you on that ship. One of us just fired at something that wasn't there. Maybe we've triggered something else that is. You certainly have. Listen, describe the interior. Dust. Debris. Rather an old corpse. What? Well, is there any sort of beam you could have broken? Probably hundreds. A trip wire? Avon? We may have tripped a few wires, yes. That ship must have an anti-intruder device rigged. You've activated it. Avon, I think you're now inside a live bomb. Then get us out of here fast and do it right this time. Villa. Hey. Pick that thing up. That was smooth, Dana. Dana? Avon, we're still here. Where are they? Callie, for heaven's sake! Build up of energy aboard alien ship increasing. Did they take off the bracelets? Of course they did. Am I doing something wrong? No. This happened going in. As if. Build up of energy aboard alien ship increasing to critical point. Zen, malfunction of teleport system. Shut down may be implemented. Energy increase aboard alien ship computed as reaching critical point in 30 seconds. Put me back on the alien ship. You heard Zen. You can't go back into that. Besides which, the teleport could fail totally at any moment or go into automatic shutdown. Try to put me back. Give me as many seconds as you can spare, then try to bring me out again. <laughs> Don't, Candy. Dana! No. Twenty seconds. I think I can bring them out with me, otherwise they'll both die. Oh, this way you'll all die. Fifteen seconds. It's our only chance. Do it! Ten seconds. damage report. The Liberator has sustained no damage. The teleport is now functioning at full power. Better late than never. What the hell was going on over here? Afternoon tea? Ask Zen. I want to know what trick Callie pulled off that Zen couldn't or wouldn't. Their teleport bracelets were affected by the energy build-up. Mine obviously wasn't. When I linked with Avon and Villa by touch, my bracelet boosted the others and brought the three of us through. Neat and not remotely believable. Who cares? It worked. Thanks, Callie. I never realised you felt this way about me. You were nearly killed. Was it worth it? Was it? I'd like a straight answer. Try a straight question. You didn't trust me. You thought I had some obscure reaction to something on that ship, didn't you? You and I teleported so that you could watch me and see what I'd do. You cut Tarrant out because he had the same idea, but he'd made no secret of it. You're overreacting. Probably. But you wouldn't expect a normal human response, would you? I'm not quite human. Are you having any luck with that object, Abel? As you can see, no. Try all right with it. I already have. It has no more idea of its function than we do. Do any of the buttons respond? No.
Without manpower, or whatever power it's got. The ship registers no life signs. Well, if it really were alien, it might not register as life. Alien vessel is now stationary. Distance? 200 spatials. That's a little too perfect for something that is registering as unmanned. We signal. Give me a reason. A reason? It's out there. In other words, you're bored. In other words, I don't believe in missing chances. Any chance this offers is purely hypothetical. On the other hand, any minerals we pull off that asteroid are unique and therefore conceivably useful. And once its orbit takes it back into the perimeter of its sun, we lose it for another three months. I still give this priority. We can't just ignore it. No, Avon, we can't. Something else to chase? Very well, as you are all so eager. Zen, signal the alien. Confirmed. What is it? What? You picked up on something. No. How could I? I'm an Aaron. The only message I can receive is from one of my own people. I know. But you're still side developed Cammy. You can read minds sometimes. Did you? Not then. I don't believe her. Neither, Taran. She just told you only an Aaron can communicate directly to another Aaron. That thing out there is not an Aaron ship. Zen, confirm negative response. Negative response confirmed. Now, we have another decision to make. Somehow that ship has moored itself conveniently close. Do we teleport aboard? I suggest a party of three for maximum cover. And up. Why do I get the feeling that you have been planning this for weeks? Very well. Villa, Cali, get three guns. Get to the teleport. I do what? You will remain here as backup with Dana. You don't mind, do you? again. You were both seconds behind me. Dana, what happened? Nothing happened. I was late getting here and Villa arrived on his head. Nothing showed up as wrong. I'll get Zen to check everything out. Do that. We are going to be able to get back, aren't we? I shouldn't like to have to spend the rest of my life here. Don't worry, it wouldn't be a long one. Wonderful. What do you mean? Zen promised us an oxygen atmosphere, but it's pretty thin on the ground. though it must have been denser at one time to cause so much of this. You kept Tarrant out. Why? His enthusiasm can be distracting. What are all these coloured ribbons? Perhaps they were having a party. According to Zen, this ship has one single deck and this is it. Do you notice anything? No instrument panels? No navigational or drive systems whatsoever. It's unlikely that they would corrode without trace. Avon, look at this. Whatever it was, it was humanoid. I don't think I want to see. This isn't a ship. It's a tomb. They, whoever they are or were, sealed their dead up inside and set it adrift in space. This rubble. It's the remains of artifacts buried with the corpse. That doesn't seem very hygienic. You worked it all out very fast. But it's obvious. Yes. These jewels must be priceless. Jewels? Villa, no, don't. No. I don't think I will. What's this? I take it that's a rhetorical question. Or did you really think you knew? Oh. I'd like to take a look at it before you smash it to bits. Or something. 